Okay, so this is gonna this is my model, and here we go. So first, right here in this uh, cylinder, uh, cylinder uh, building, we have the lower class families. This is a small apartment complex which doesn't have much room inside for those families that don't get that don't have a lot of money. Here, the second building is the uh, apartment complex for the uh, middle class families who have better standards and right here is the is a small park with fountains and stuff and finally right here we have the uh, place for the, where the rich people live it's all nice decorated with lots of lots of um, space to live definitely very comfortable Next we have the office building right here. This is just a normal office building with you know jobs and stuff. There's plenty of other stuff like the McDonald's you saw over there, as well as okay. Right here we have the second park with a small fountain, some trees, and a little pond right here. And over here it's the school. This is a combination of a elementary, middle, and high school just like ours is. And it is a fairly good public school. Uh, to which all the kids from the um, city attend. That's why it has to be such a big building. Next, we're going to see the shopping center complex area. So, um, yeah, right here we have the big shopping center, some um, trucks that deliver the, the supplies, and the sandy building right there is the actual shopping mall. Then that white building with the black top is the parking space. And we also have a but and the And our town doesn't only doesn't does not only have these things that also has a bunch of other stuff like uh, subway and a casino, a library, stuff like that. Oh, I almost forgot. Here's the medical center. This is the doctor's office. It even has a helicopter pad for emergent for you know emergency patients and stuff who need to seek immediate medical attention. So yeah, that pretty much sums it up for our city. See ya. Bye. Okay, so. This is this is this is what our city looks like from a bird's eye view, and what's so great about the city is that everything is a uh, walking distance from itself. For example, you could get from any and every single one of the neighborhoods to the store and then to the school in a mere matter of minutes just by walking on foot. And also, if you divide the if you divide the city in half you'll have a park on each side. This allows uh, everyone to be able to have access to a small green area where they can relax. And also, the bigger park is located by the school, which allows the students of the school to, uh, to hang out in the park and the, also, the hospital is located in a strategic place, which allows everyone to have easy access to it. That is it. I hope you like the design of my city, because a lot of work and thought has been put in to make this design truly uh, helpful to the people, and so that it will work both practically and technically. Well. Our city is made so that 
it is easy to walk around everywhere. This has proven to work in both Amsterdam and, and that's in the Netherlands and in Warsaw, Poland. They have both boosted the popularity of their city by making it easy to walk around and by uh, making also making it bicycle friendly so that anyone that has a bicycle can easily maneuver uh, the city because this town is so small it is easy it can easily be maneuvered with a bicycle or just on foot everything is just so compact that there isn't a problem in space wise and uh, another thing that has uh, helped this town be more uh, friendly towards the people is the town being uh, the buildings being be, being placed strategically so that everyone is relatively close to each other and to where they need to get. Stop recording. Why is the recording?